Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I create this makeup look. It's honestly one of my favorite makeup looks to wear. Definitely would consider it sort of a ride or die makeup look. And there is no foundation involved, so it's a no foundation, no makeup makeup sort of look. And I just thought it was perfect for back to school or going to work or if you just want to go out and run errands and you don't really want to pile on all the makeup and you just want to look super natural or really anytime you want to look very natural but, you know, a little bit more even tone a little bit more glowy, a little bit more balanced. I hope you guys are excited to see and because this is a no foundation makeup routine, it's really highly focused on the moisture of the skin, I would say. So I go through moisturizer, I go through sunscreen. Um, what concealer is my absolute favorite concealer to use on days like this when I know that I'm not gonna be baking and setting with like heavy powders and stuff like this. Like this is a rider dye concealer that I just feel will work for anybody and everybody and I'm super excited to share with you guys because Honestly, I haven't talked too much about it just because, you know, most of the time when I'm doing these sorts of makeup looks, it's when I'm on the go, when I'm traveling or when I'm, you know, going to the airport, going to the gym, going to the grocery store, when I am not filming because usually when I film, it's more creative looks or dramatic looks. So I hope you guys are excited to see because I'm actually really, really excited to um, tell you guys all my secrets. Let's get into the video. Hello, guys. When we're going for this sort of no foundation makeup look. It's really important to keep your skin very hydrated underneath the very minimal makeup that we're gonna be putting on. This is my personal favorite moisturizer, especially right before makeup. This is Tarte's Drink of HO Hydrating Boost. I apply about a dime size amount to my entire face and just make sure it's really nice and evenly spread out. And the reason I like this moisturizer particularly is that it's lightweight, it's very moisturizing, but it does get tacky, so it acts really well as a primer as well. Then I go straight on top of that with this tinted sunscreen from Elta MD. This is my favorite sunscreen in the entire world. It is so bomb, you guys. Um, I actually got this for my dermatologist, but I did see it on Amazon, so I'll link it down below for you guys. But honestly, it is the best because, again, it's very lightweight. That's gonna be key to this makeup look is just having it as lightweight as possible since it is more of like a natural, no makeup makeup sort of look. Um, but the reason I like this one is it is a little bit tinted. It's actually made for acne-prone skin, which I I am a big fan of because it doesn't clog my pores and it doesn't cause acne. My skin's already not happy. I don't know what's happening but right now, but my skin is like horrendous all of a sudden. This stuff is amazing though. I love that it is moisturizing and lightweight, but it still protects my skin from the sun. Again, about a pea size amount and just rub that over my entire face. And you can see I actually have a lot of um, acne scarring everywhere. So it actually does help prevent acne scars from staying longer, if that makes sense. It's concealer tab. This is the only concealer that I recommend for a makeup look like this. When you're not using foundation, when you really need your concealer to pull through for you. This is my favorite concealer for this type of makeup look. This is like the only thing that I gravitate towards. So this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. I wear the shade uh, Y33. I've almost gone through this entire bottle because it's so good and it's the only concealer that I use um, for makeup looks like this where I'm not using foundation, where I just want something that's going to wear beautifully throughout the day. This does not crease whatsoever. It looks like skin on my skin. That's all you can ask for, right? And I apply it just a little bit underneath the eyes. I kind of just dot it on with my fingertip and then we will blend it out later. And I go over all of my blemishes and acne scars so that everything looks a little bit more even tone. Like I said, I don't know what they did with this concealer, but they did something right because this concealer is the only concealer that I've ever tried that actually does not crease during the day. It just stays there. It looks like skin. It looks amazing. It looks like your skin, but better. And once I have spot concealed everything, I'll go in and blend it out with the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Oh my god, this brush is life-changing, guys, and it's literally like a dollar or two at Target. Um, and all I do is I just buff everything in, and with this concealer and brush combo, I'm telling you guys, it will look like your skin. This is gold right here. Yo, isn't that insane what a difference that makes? This concealer, everything, everything. And the brush, honestly, this e.l.f. brush. I really recommend you guys get this brush because it's so inexpensive, but it's like one of my favorite concealer brushes in the entire world, if not my favorite concealer brush. A lot of times I just leave it like this. I don't even set it at all. And with this particular concealer, I'm usually all good with that. But if you are gonna be out all day, like if I were gonna be out all day, I probably would set it just a little bit. So I thought I would try out this new uh, powder from MAC. If you watched my PR, unboxing. Oh, 
over on my vlog channel. I did like this huge PR unboxing and this was in one of the packages that I got. If you haven't seen it, subscribe to my vlog channel. Don't forget to click the link down below. I'll have a link to the PR unboxing. If you love PR unboxings, it's huge, literally 30 minutes long. I thought I would try this out because it's supposed to be like next to nothing. This is the next to nothing press powder. But I thought it'd be kind of cool for this makeup look. So I'm just dusting a little bit only on the areas where I usually crease. Definitely underneath the eyes and then in the smile lines. That's the only places that I'm going to place this powder. Surprisingly, I don't even add highlighter when I do this sort of no foundation makeup look. But I will go in with a little bit of the MAC Cosmetics Strobe Cream in the shade Gold Light. And I just take a little bit on the back of my hand and just kind of dab them. <laughs> place that onto the high points of the face where you would normally place your highlighter. Normally, I'm all about the glow and all about the radiance and all about the beaming highlight. But for this type of look, I just feel like it looks a lot more complete when I just use my strobe cream because it's basically a lotion that has a little bit of gold reflex in it. So it does give you sort of like this natural glow, but it looks a lot more natural than a liquid highlighter even would. By the way, don't mind this little red patch right there. Long story, long story. Usually it's not there and we're all good. Then I like to just go ahead and spray a little bit of Fix Plus just to make sure that everything kind of melts together from here. I legit think that you could get this done in like three to five minutes, but I do like to just open up my eyes a little bit with some lash curling action. This one is from House of Lashes. I'm really lightly curling my lashes here. I just feel like it opens it up just a tad bit. For brows, again, I just keep it as simple as possible. I like to use any sort of tinted brow gel or fiber brow gel sort of thing. This is from Benefit and it is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm using the shade 5 although I actually like the shade 4 better but I can't find it right now so I'm using the shade 5 and I'm just brushing my brow hairs in an upward motion because that is really the key to getting your brows to look as full as they possibly can. When you're brushing upwards your brow hairs will actually like stand up and make your brows look thicker. Last step is just going to be to pop on some lip balm. You can use literally any lip balm that you want or that you have on hand. Lately I've been loving this one so this is the Pure Lease. Daily Lip Nurture with Mango and Shea Butter. Thank you so much to my subscriber Danielle who brought this to me. I've been like literally obsessed with it because it makes my lips feel so soft and supple like nothing else I've ever tried. I just like to take a little bit of this and I like it all. I squeeze a little too much off. <laughs> That's what happens when you start talking while applying lip balm. But I do like it because it actually has like a little bit of a glossy finish. So it looks like you're wearing a gloss, but it's actually like really nourishing and hydrating your lips. All right guys, so that is our finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's actually really easy to do. And honestly, a look that I wear a lot of the time, whether I'm going to the gym or, you know, I don't know, just going out to run errands and I don't really want to wear that much makeup, but I just want to add on a little bit. It, you know so yeah I hope this helps you guys out give it a thumbs up if it does and don't forget to comment down below if you have any requests or anything that you'd like me to do I think this is probably gonna be my last back to school video this year but I hope you guys um, found them helpful found the tutorials helpful and I hope you get to use them don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also subscribe to my vlog channel if you want to see more of my videos and I think that's gonna be it for me remember you are beautiful inside and out I love you guys so so much and I will see you next time Bye.